If you're new here, welcome to the Rap Babes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your girl, Amira Ali. Yeah, that intro was all over the place, but you get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, it's like 7 a.m. Well, I woke up around like 7 a.m., y'all. It's almost 8 a.m. I woke up this morning, and as you guys can see, I wrote, I'm just more intentional with my day. I literally just got back from Dubai yesterday, and I'm already back to my routine. Like, I was feeling to do this. I was feeling to wake up, put on my Lululemon, you know, start my morning routine again. I already said my affirmations this morning, read my Bible verse. Um, so, I have my tea here. It's some detox tea. I mix ballerina, green tea, and smooth move because I need a detox, y'all. I need a detox like after that trip I just need to detox it's so bad that I don't even crave like food food like I know my eyelashes are crazy by the way I'm getting them done tomorrow but I'm not even craving food I just want lots of liquid fruits waters yogurts like those are the type of things that I want right now I really don't even want actual food so I'm gonna finish that tea and head out we're gonna be doing a lot of errands today this is a part of our reset we are going to be going to Target. I'm gonna go there first because they're open and they're the opposite way of everything else I have to do today so I'm gonna go to Target first then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's I have Pilates at 10 30 then I'm gonna probably go to Whole Foods and then come back home oh no and Sephora is where I also want to go after Whole Foods and then Sephora and then I'm gonna come home because I have some Sephora gift cards from my birthday that I got I think each card has like $50 so I have $150 to spend in there and I already needed some stuff like my salicylic acid um, from the ordinary it broke while we was in Dubai so I really need one I don't like to go a day without it because like it really helps being consistent on your skincare routine y'all is a life hack I don't change my routine up often I just like add little stuff like adding in double cleansing was good the salicylic acid is a must for my skin because I have acne prone skin so I'm gonna go get that and just see what else I want in there um and then what else then that's basically gonna be it our cleaners are coming today at 3 30 so when I come back it's gonna be time to unpack get these suitcases out the way let the cleaners do their thing um and then yeah we should be good and we should be set for the month of September um I'm so excited I love this set y'all this is a Lululemon a chocolate colored set this is their defined jacket and then I have the flare pants on I think I like the flare pants better than the skinny pants these are just more my style no games because this is literally the, th the fourth quarter the year is about to be done soon and I do not want to go into 2024 like too far away from my weight loss goals you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna finish this tea and I'm gonna catch up with you guys once I get to Tawashe I just finished in Tarja A. I'm really excited that I found that cleansing oil. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I'm really excited. I, there was a La Roche post. La Roche Posay, I hope I ever say it right. But it was a cleansing oil that they have, and y'all know I'm getting into my um 
for my double cleansing so I had to get two not one I had to get two and I had to read up on skincare stuff like I got a whole bunch of stuff um I will show you guys everything that, that I got when we got home right now I'm running to Whole Foods before my Pilates class because I just want to get waters fruits and flowers um and Whole Foods is right near my Pilates class, so it's not like I have to go out the way. That's why I want to go there. Since I'm getting there at 9.48, so that's perfect. My Pilates class is at 10.30. I'm going to be very in and out. Ain't no chilling in Whole Foods. It's just going to be, let's go in. Uh, probably just get kombuchas, water, fruits, and flowers. And my fruits is very simple. It's literally only watermelon, grapes. That's really, I really don't be getting too much. And if you are um, somebody who's shy or whatever to make content like I am, I suggest you guys go do your stuff. If you have errands to run, go do it as early as possible because the stores be empty. There's not a lot of people around. You know, that's why I really enjoy waking up early because everybody's still sleeping. Granted, there's traffic right now because like school, everybody trying to get to work is rush hour. But as far as like the actual grocery stores and stuff, this is where I need to be. Even though I am getting better, I'm still somebody who kind of like um, is shy to pull out my camera and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still getting over it. I don't know if it's something you even ever get over because I've seen YouTubers like including like Aaliyah J because I am a diehard army girl. But um, I've seen people even like her who's been doing YouTube for how many years still say that like they cannot get over that little bit of anxiety <laughs> when it comes to pulling out your camera in public so yeah i don't know i don't know if i'll ever get over it but i know that going to the stores early has helped me um we're gonna go there oh i also have to go to my peel box oh shoot so yeah sorry y'all pit stop we're gonna go to my peel box and we're gonna go to whole foods so
What's up y'all? So I just finished Pilates. It was such a good workout. Like such a good breeze outside. I keep leaving my windows down, but I'm forgetting I'm vlogging. But anyway, I just finished Pilates, y'all. That was such a good workout. I thought today was gonna be like really hard because normally her workouts are really, really, really hard. But it was just just right. It was it was exactly what I needed. Hello? Anyway, y'all, like I was saying, that workout was exactly what I needed. Like, it wasn't, like, too much. You know what I'm saying? It was, like, the perfect workout to get back into my routine. But um, I'm going to head to Sephora. I'm, like, five minutes away. But I would really want to stop at Starbucks because it's 11-something. I can break my fast now. Um, I'm going to go get Starbucks. But I've learned that you're not supposed to have caffeine on an empty stomach. So instead, I'm just gonna get green tea. I'm gonna get an ice green tea and like a breakfast sandwich. I love green tea, I always have because I just feel like it like speeds up your metabolism, it's so good. So I'm gonna get ice green tea with a little splash of lemonade, little splash, y'all. And I need gas, y'all. I'm literally driving around with five miles worth of gas in my car, like I'm just a girl. Can I have a venti um, ice green tea? Put a okay. Um, and then a bacon gouda and egg. All right. That's all. all right. Yeah, I got my Starbucks. I'm literally running to the gas station because I have like two miles of gas on my car. Like that's insane. All right, guys. So I'm in Sephora. I got a few things in my bag that I know I'm gonna go over the limit that I was supposed to go. The limit that I had for the gift cards. I already know I'm gonna go over it because. Sephora is just not a place you can come and be good. But I got a few things in my bag. We'll do a haul when I get home. We'll do a haul when I get home. I'm about to just look at some fragrances. And I think that's it. I got a few things that I think I'm good with. Um, so we're going to look at some fragrances and yeah. What's up, y'all? So I literally just got home. I wanted to take you guys into Trader Joe's with me. But y'all, that tea that I drank this morning it literally started hitting me in trader joe's like my stomach was going crazy like i had to run in and get out of trader joe's so i could come home um we took we got everything upstairs i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got before i put it away but yeah y'all that tea if you drink ballerina tea smooth move those are the type of teas that i personally feel like you gotta be home to drink because when it hits it hits and like i said excuse my eyelashes you guys I have my appointment tomorrow but let me show you everything that we got so they're all mixed up, but I'm pretty sure that this is from Target. I got some Power Mop stuff, waters, flowers, fruits, uh, which is grapes, watermelon, and pineapple. Toothbrush, toothpaste. This is my favorite mouthwash, y'all. Like, this is the best. It's a whitening one. Y'all know I'm obsessed with whitening stuff. I got stuff to make big ZD tonight. They didn't have the ZD noodles, so I had to get the rigatoni, but it'll be the same thing. Uh, I got some more Dr. Bronner's. We got some cleaning stuff, some Windex uh this is the method antibacterial all-purpose cleaner i love this smell we got some dish soap this was the oil cleaner that i was telling y'all about that i saw on tiktok and i was like yeah i have to because y'all know i'm in my double cleansing era i got another la roche pose um moisture um face wash this is my favorite face wash like i'm never gonna stop using that i got the water from them as well the one that cleanses your face we got some plugins um over there we got some toilet tissue blah, blah, blah. toilet tissue paper towel and the detergent the rest of the detergent is already back there oh also from trader joe's y'all i got this butter chicken with basmati rice with this garlic naan bread um we got burgers because i'm gonna make some burgers tomorrow we got this orange chicken bowl we got some chicken dumplings i got brown rice for my meal prep this is the shawarma chicken thighs. I'm going to try those as well with my meal prep with broccoli. And then I got regular chicken as well. So I'm going to mix it up. Um, and then over here, we got some waters, uh, kombucha. So I got tropical punch flavor. I got guava goddess. What is that over there? Strawberry lemon, uh, poppies. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the belly reset. Uh, peach paradise, strawberry lemon. And I think those are all the flavors. And then y'all know, if you be watching my TikToks, y'all know I use these for my meal preps for work. We got some clean, more cleaning stuff, Lumi body wash. And this is my scrub that I love. And then this is just some pure Castile soap from Dr. Bronner's. And yeah, that was basically everything that I got from uh, Trader Joe's, Target, and Whole Foods. I'm going to show you guys what I got from Sephora now. 
um and then i'm gonna put this stuff away because it is 2 10 the cleaners will be here at 3 i want to make sure all this stuff is out the way i probably won't be able to unpack before they get here so i'll just do that later on tonight i'm just gonna move the suitcases out the way but i'm gonna get these stuff unpacked anyway i'm gonna show you guys what i got from sephora so there's a few things i got in here for one y'all i took max movies like and i love the guy that that was in there he was so nice he literally he was i was like sorry i got some spoolies in the basket he was like what he's like let me give you this bag and he put a whole bunch in here he said he'd be using it for his wigs and don't mind my wig y'all this wig is coming off today um and i'm gonna put on my closure wig probably but i got a whole bunch of spoolies in here if you're a girl like me who wears lashes when you go to sephora just rack up on these spoolies you you can never go wrong like, come on um anyway i got these dr dennis gross uh peels i don't know if y'all can see it it's so light in here but yeah these are the dr dennis gross peels um i've seen on tiktok that a lot of people say that this is really good if you have like textured skin i don't really have textured skin but my skin is very oily um and it, i feel like sometimes it does like you can see my pores a little bit i don't know if y'all could even tell but you see how you can see some of my pores yeah we don't want that no more so this it literally says if you have oily skin imperfections uneven skin uneven skin tone texture wrinkles or enlarged pores um this will basically help you get balanced clear bright smooth skin and immediate radiance so it's 30 plus 5 bonus treatment so i'm guessing it's 35 and you're supposed to use it once every other day so i'm gonna start it today and then every other day i'm gonna use it uh what else did i get let me put these out these are the cards so from nars i got blush let me show y'all because i feel like i'm gonna try the orange the way the girls have been saying it works on tiktok like how like how it makes your skin like more radiant i guess you could say so this is the nars blush in the color exhibit a and I think it was just, it was too pretty to not have, y'all. Like, I had to have it. So, whenever I do my makeup, who knows when's the next time I'm going out. Because, y'all, I'm going to work and I'm coming home. Okay? Listen, I've been spending way too much money. But, I'm just a girl. <laughs> then i got this nars bronzer so melody actually had this bronzer right before we went out to lagos that night um she had this bronzer and put it on and it looks so good on her skin this is in the color laguna so i had to get it like the, it, it was just too fire it was too fire when she put it on i'm like this bronzer is fire so i got that i got my the ordinary salicylic acid this is the real reason why i went then i got this one size eyeliner I'm just obsessed with eyeliners. I'm really trying to find an eyeliner that's very pigmented and I feel like it's the blackity black black blackest because I be I like to do my little you know my little eyeliner when I do my makeup. So we'll see. I got two refies lip liner in the color sepia. This is it. I heard good things about their lip liner. Um, and then I got the rare beauty um liquid blush this is an orange one as well because i feel like my liquid blush that i have from juvia's place is kind of pinkish so i wanted to get this this is more so on the orangey side if y'all can tell look it's more so orangey so if i use this and then layer it with the nars one i think i should be good but i think i'm good off makeup for a minute y'all i think i i've i've definitely outdid myself uh, when it comes to makeup definitely did more than enough damage but yeah when it comes to makeup i think i've been in sephora enough so done with makeup I got me a little green juice y'all it has apple kale celery spinach apple wait i said apple already also got flowers from trader joe's y'all i need to arrange this bouquet cut up our fruits and then get yeah, hopefully by that time they're here we're actually pretty hungry so we're probably gonna order something to eat uh, we're gonna order some lunch i don't know what we should eat anyway you guys uh it's a little while later i unpacked everything the fridge is packed up um i unpacked my stuff from dubai as well i have some stuff here that i'm I already put to the side that i'm gonna wash and throw in the washing machine what time is it it's five o'clock so i'm gonna go shower edit for a little bit <clears throat> and then i want to go live while i like refresh up another wig i'm gonna take this one off and probably wash it tomorrow but oh, wizard kelly got me chipotle in the meantime because y'all i'm tired i'm tired so we got some chipotle that's dope hmm? my chipotle order is a bowl with a tortilla inside brown rice double chicken a little bit of medium a little bit of hot 
two scoops of corn, cheese, lettuce, a vinaigrette, a side of guac, and these kitty chips. <laughs> oh, I most meant to tell you, the cleaning people did not come because they got the dates mixed up. They thought I said Thursday, which I could have never said Thursday because I work on Thursday. But they're gonna come on Thursday instead, instead of today. So yeah, we're so Kelly would be home. And I'll let you, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, for right now, I'm about to just go chill, y'all. I'm tired. What's up, y'all? So I just got off the shower. Um, when I got out, only thing I did was tone my face because I wanted to try the the Dr. Dennis Gross stuff with you guys. Um, hold on. Yeah, I wanted to try the, it's an extra strain daily peel. So I wanted to try that. The first one is exfoliate and smooth. And then the second one is the anti-aging neutralizer. It says use AM or PM. Use every other day until skin becomes acclimated. Massage step one onto clean dry skin until pad is dry. Wait two minutes. Repeat with step two to further enhance your results. Follow with a serum and moisturizer of your choice. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this on now. Well, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all. I used this and it made my skin feel so good. Like that's the reason why I really love their products because it's gentle. My skin be feeling so smooth when I'm done. It doesn't feel super dry. Um, and then I went and followed up with my other cleanser. So that is me double cleansing. My skin feels great. I toned and then we're gonna use this. So this is number one. It says massage onto your skin until it gets dry and then repeat with step two. Massage this, this is step one. I'm gonna be taking you guys on this journey with me. If you're not just ready, I'm the type of person I'm gonna read it a million more times. But anyway, in these two minutes that we have together, y'all, how have y'all been feeling? I meant to tell y'all this too because I've seen another creator on TikTok talk about it. Um, some girl on TikTok was basically saying her experience in um, Pilat like she tried Pilates and she really didn't like it. And I seen that she actually went to Solid Core. So I wanted to clarify for you guys, Solid Core is not Pilates. It's not Pilates. I know a lot of people think it's Pilates because you're on a reformer, which you use in Pilates, but not, it's nothing like Pilates. The only thing I can think of why people say that is one, because it's on a reformer, and two, because you do core work, but it's not Pilates. So if you're somebody who's trying to get into Pilates, I would not recommend going to solid core to be the judge of it. I feel like you need to go to an actual Pilates studio and do actual Pilates. But it's been two minutes. Well, we got five seconds. And then it said repeat with step two. This is the extra string. No, this is the anti-aging neutralizer. Because it says repeat with step two. We already did this one. So this is the one you put on. And I'm gonna follow up with my good molecules and topical, topical serums. I hope I this first serum I'm gonna use from good molecules. on my La Roche moisturizer and lay down for a little bit and then I'm gonna get back up and go like freshen up my hair and everything while I go live so I'm gonna check in with y'all later what's up Brad babe so it's officially the next day last night literally we knocked out I laid down like I told you I was going to after I finished like my skincare and everything <laughs> literally y'all I laid down I was supposed to edit literally woke up at like 2 3 in the morning it was over, it was over. I don't even know why I did it to myself. I don't know why I closed my eyes, but the time difference is really messing with me. I'm literally like, I don't even know what's going on. I'm just so tired, but um, what you call it? Yeah, I just got home. It's about like three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I went early this morning just to go get my eyelashes refilled, as y'all can see. And then I went and got my nails cut down because y'all know I'm going back to work. So I just had to get like them a little shorter. I wasn't about to go to work with, um, long nails i got my toes redone so i got i just did a quick maintenance and came right back home it was some traffic that's why i got home a little late but yeah i'm home i'm about to start cooking the big zilly that i was supposed to make last night i'm gonna make that now also make my meals for work i'm praying that i even have the energy to get up and go to work in the morning because y'all when i tell you i'm tired 
like I'm tired so I'm praying I can get everything that I need to get done today as far as like laundry vlogs all of that I also have a speaking engagement at eight o'clock in about four hours um so I'm really trying to get this food done so that I can go in the room straighten my wig and do a little bit of makeup um I really don't want to wear this wig I will if I have to I really don't want to because like the lace is looking crazy I just want to take it off and put on my closure wig but that's gonna be like I need to straighten it and everything and I want to make sure I look presentable for the students that I'm about to speak to today I will be letting you guys see some of that um so we're about to get started I'm probably just gonna do a montage for y'all and I'm gonna come back when it's time for the speaking engagement so BRB <laughs> I be so sick, even niggas, y'all can't you think, think I be so bold with myself, can you come and fuck me? I feel so ordinary, seven when you won't round me Treat me like quarter right, wear me out Arguments, you air me out Trip about your whereabouts I can't keep no conflict with you, boy, can we just rub it out? I don't want no standing with you, you know you my plug And I can't shake this habit, no I've been down, baby later i literally just finished my hair and makeup i was on live um, i just fixed up my hair the best way that i could because i personally did not want to do like too much or whatever like i don't even feel like i really had time to number one and um yeah i, I just didn't want to do too much like i i would have took me way too long so i was on live talking to the brad babes did my hair did my makeup y'all that orange blush and that bronzer fire fire from nas but the call is about to start it's literally 7 54 i got like five actually not even five like two more minutes i'm just writing down a few things um i'm just writing down a few things here in my notes just having their questions out and open um but yeah i think i'm done i'm just gonna leave these things open we're gonna have the camera there so you guys can so you guys can see let me text my man and tell him please do not call me because if i don't he will yeah, the room is about to open so i'm about to join i'm just kind of getting my thoughts together it's my first speaking engagement so I, i'm like i'm shook y'all the girlie said orange blush so i got the orange blush the orange blush is eating we like to broaden our reach in that way and our vision is the creation of a world in which black students have equal opportunities to pursue careers in healthcare, and we are all well represented in the healthcare field and now we can get into our guest speaker. So our guest speaker for today is going to be the nurse Brad. I'm sure you guys um, know, you know, what I a lot about her. But this is just a little something. But I'm also going to let her provide a short improvement of introduction of anything that she wants to say or thinks is important for you guys to know before we get into the questions that I've been out from the members of our organization. Spot is you. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. 
There you go. I just made you the spotlight so that everyone can see you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I hope everyone else is doing good tonight. I'm so happy to be here. So thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming. I know my members were, have been really excited about this <laughs> meeting, so. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you for having me. You want me to introduce myself a little bit, right? Oh, I can't. I think. Oh, your mic is muted. Okay. Am I good now? You can hear me? Yes. I can. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'll start off with a little introduction about myself. Um, it's nice to meet you all. I wish I could see y'all faces, but um, my name is Amira, aka Amira Ali, or Nurse Brat, um, as which most of you guys know me by from social media. Um, I'm 25 years old. I just turned 25. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, um, and I got into nursing. Um, a few of you guys kind of know my story if you've been following me on TikTok, but um, I got into nursing when I was just getting out of high school. Honestly, I tell you guys a lot that I'm Haitian. My mom is Haitian. She did not play that when you are in a Haitian household you have to be a nurse or a doctor there's no in between so she definitely pushed me to go into nursing I really did not want to do it at first like I wanted to do social work um, I wanted to do law because I always thought that I would be really good in law um, but my mom was not having that she was not gonna pay for me to go to college if I did not do nursing so I literally had no choice um, and honestly like looking at like what my mother was able to do I felt like nursing wouldn't it wasn't like she was steering me in the wrong path so I felt like it was all out of love which I'm so happy that she actually did um, so yeah I graduated high school when I was 17 and I went straight to college from there because I was just in the type of mindset like I, if I took a break I didn't know where I was gonna end up I don't know what I was gonna be doing um thank you guys for telling me happy birthday in the chat but um yeah I didn't know what I was going to be doing um if I didn't go straight to school so I went straight to school I went to a four-year university in Delaware it's called Delaware State Un University it's an HBCU um I picked that school because I did a lot of research um I did research on um how far it was from me it was only three hours from New York I didn't want to go anywhere too far um and when I was doing my research on the program I felt like it was very like the the what they needed for me to get into the program, I feel like it was very attainable. So you needed like a 3.0 GPA, you needed um, Bs at least in like all of your classes. Like it wasn't anything that I felt like it was way too hard. Like a lot of schools sometimes, people would just go and they apply and then they don't really look at what you need to get in. So once I literally did my research and I saw, I was like, yeah, I definitely could do this. So first two years was prerequisites, which is you just taking your, like the classes that you need to get into the program. You're taking anatomy and physiology, you're taking pathophysiology, you're taking micro, you're taking your core science classes. And then you're also taking other classes. Like um, yeah, I did my prereqs the first two years and I actually ended up getting two C's and this is why I say God is so real because I was not supposed to get into the program the prerequisites I mean the, to get into the program it literally says um that oh yeah the, to get into the program it says that you can only have one C in your core classes I ended up getting two C's I got a C in anatomy and physiology which was my first semester and I also got a C in my pathophysiology course which was in my second to last year um, but I ended up getting into the program. I maintained a like 3.2, 3.3 GPA all throughout. And when I got into the program, you guys, it was nothing short of hard. It was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. A lot of people see like where I am now. Um, they'll see like, you know, that you get to do this, you get to travel and they do not understand the journey. I want you guys to know I have cried, I have starved myself, I have pulled all nighters, I have I have I have induced anxiety from nursing school. I had the worst journey ever, and that also plays into why I don't see myself going back to school. You get into the nursing field, which we'll talk about more later, you do experience some type of discrimination against most of us that are black and it really showed when I was in college like college prepared me for the entire everything that I'm facing now I went through it you guys I had teachers trying to fail me I had students trying to get me kicked out when I tell you the devil worked for those two years the devil worked I works harder because I pulled through so many sleepless nights so many tears yeah if I I feel like what I was getting put through during that time was literally to have me sit here in front of you guys and tell my story because all of those were just tests and that was a part of my testimony you know so 
for everyone who's trying to go into nursing and trying to go into healthcare, listen, it's very hard in any aspect, not only just nursing, anything you want to do in healthcare, especially as minorities, it's very hard, but you can do it. It's not something that's like too far out of reach. After that, I graduated in 2020. I took my NCLEX, which is your licensure exam. I took it in, I took two months off and then I took it that same year, passed on the first try. Um, I started doing, um, I got a staff job in the emergency room. I knew I wanted to do emergency room nursing just based off my clinical rotations in college. Um, I did my clinical rotations, knew I wanted to do ER, got a staff job and Staff was, I'm sorry to say this y'all, it was ghetto. It was ghetto, I couldn't do it no more. But we do so much and I felt like for everything that we were doing, I was not being compensated enough, which drove me to want to leave and start traveling. I, I joined, um, I got into nursing in 2020 at the height of COVID. So a lot of people were leaving and a lot of people were going to do travel. And I was so like inspired and motivated by those nurses that I've seen come from Crucial, making 10K a week. I was like, yeah, this is the type of money that nurses need to be making, you know? So I ended up doing travel and yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much it about me. I am a travel nurse now, I started my uh, social media influencer journey in 20 end of 2021 to 2022 basically um, I started taking it serious in 2022 um, a lot of people started gravitating to me I started going live showing my personality sharing my experience and everybody kind of people that gravitated to me saw something in me um, that was relatable something that they felt like you know if she can do it I can do it too because I'm just a regular black girl from Brooklyn New York from okay so <laughs> You covered like so much that I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the perfect introduction. And I just want to say like how you said um, on your social media, you're able to inspire people. Like that's the whole reason why it was me and um, another student in my organization that were really trying to get you the speaker because that's what a big reason why I do these guest speaker meetings as a part of my org because I'm in nursing school right now. So I know for me personally, like, it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So I know it helps inspire people like to be able to see people that have already made it through. So you know, we can get there. It might be bad now, but you know, eventually we're gonna make it to the end. Exactly. And when I was in nursing school, I try to be that for you guys because when I was in nursing school, I, I don't know if TikTok was even out, but I wasn't on TikTok. I wasn't on social media i really didn't have anybody to look up to and feel like oh my god this is like so you know how a lot of people they come to my page when they need motivation they come to my page when they need that extra push when they need to see where they're going to be i didn't have that in nursing school i literally just pushed through by the grace of god and it was so hard and i know that it could have been easier for me if i had somebody's page to go to and be like oh just a few more years and i'll be like this and that's why i go so hard on my page and i'm so consistent with tick with content because it's really for you guys and because i know what it's like like Kind of go, kind of go through the questions that you didn't really touch on. So, and one was that um, does travel nursing interfere with your personal life? But you already touched on that. You mm -hmm. said it doesn't because you travel within the state of New York. Mm -hmm. Um, the next question is how many travel assignments do you usually take per year or any year? Um, so I typically I go where the money goes. That's how I've always been. Like I, I. Well, typically my assignments start at 13 weeks. I don't take anything shorter, especially it depends on where you're starting, when you're starting your assignment, because there's something that's called the summer slowdown. So that typically means that in the summer, rate starts to drop. Um, you know, they're not really hiring. It's kind of harder to get a job. So if I take a job in like in January, typically I'm staying at that job all year until around this time, September, October, when flu season comes, RSV season comes, COVID picks back up, tuberculosis, all of those things. Staff goes on, they want, you know, Christmas off, um, New Year's off, all of those things. So rates tend to go back up during these type of months. Typically my contracts, they start at 13 weeks and then I just continue to extend and extend and extend like that. Unless it is like a working condition I cannot take. There was only one assignment that I've taken because I've done about like four so far. The first travel assignment that I did, I did my 13 weeks and I left. It was just unbearable. Okay, so the next question is, what are the major differences between a traditional RN position and a traveling RN role in terms of work-life balance, benefits, other aspects? Okay, so one of the biggest difference as a travel nurse that keeps staff nurse stagnant is the benefits they think that if you know you become a um travel nurse you won't be able to get insurance you won't be able to have a pension which is not true
Tough Vlog. We're doing our boxing for Kobe stuff. Let's see what we have in store. Huh? You want a no, I got it in my hand. Let's see what we got today, vlog. Kobe a few stuff. This, if you have a dog, this is very necessary for fleas and ticks. You see it? You better cop some, brat babes. Next, you got you know the regular wipes after a walk, cause you don't want no dirty dog on your bed. You know little accessories for her Crocs. You know she loved pink. And last but not least, a new bath tub mat. Cause her own, mm -mm. You don't want to see it, Brad Babes. All right, it's the end of this vlog. Peace out. What's up, you guys? It's currently 1.48 right now. Um, I'm starting to vlog this day a little late because huh, I was up all morning editing. I finally finished my birthday vlog. I'm about to get started on the travel Dubai vlog. Um, I at least want to finish like half of it today, but yeah, I didn't even go to work today, you guys. I was so tired, so like still jet lagged. I'm gonna go in tomorrow and Saturday. Um, but yeah, so last night the event was so nice. My camera ended up dying, that's why you guys didn't see too much of it. But the event was so nice, it felt so good to like it. Was like, first of all, there was like a hundred. 50 people on the call which is crazy because like some people would think that's not a lot but when you're standing in front of 150 people or talking to 150 people it's a lot like it's a lot it was such a good call though so informative they asked some really good questions um and that was actually my first speaking engagement like to motivate like people to get into healthcare, I've never done that before. But um, you know, the Brad Bays when I went live after they said I did really good, so I'm really happy about that. I hope like if any of you guys that were on the call are watching this, I hope you guys got some good and valuable information and enjoyed it as much as I did. I really did enjoy um doing that. I can't wait to do more. Um, but yeah, my camera ended up dying after that. I literally had just went to sleep today. I woke up since like six to eight a.m. I've been in and out of sleep, and then I started on the vlog today. I'm not doing anything else but editing that's all i'm doing just editing all day i need to get these vlogs out of the way because i do not like to be sitting on top of content this vlog is basically done i'm just waiting for it to upload it had a copyright strike which is so freaking annoying so um, i changed the song and i'm just waiting um for it to upload which was basically done anyway today our cleaners were supposed to come at 12 o'clock they did not show up again so we left horrible reviews for them um and typically i don't do that but like i'm just tired of people being extremely unprofessional and me letting them get away with it like after my birthday dress situation y'all nobody's getting away with being unprofessional i'm leaving you bad reviews and everything and you know what's so crazy i was telling the brat babes while i was on live yesterday what happened with the dress and a lot of them were saying like you really could have ruined her like i could have put a horrible review on my tiktok on all my social medias but i didn't because like i said all press is good press and yeah and we got some packages from amazon i'm pretty sure y'all heard wizard kelly's voice over this morning unboxing them he was unboxing it while i was editing because i had to give kobe his revolution kobe's feeling much better right baby all right you guys here we're just here i'm gonna finish everything i gotta do as far as editing and then i'm gonna check in with y'all when i actually get up and do something Tears falling in my bitch face Then she forever trying to show me how that shit tastes Ain't really been dropping, I've been trying to get my shit straight Had to set my prices, 20 mil for every mixtape Party in every night, don't do it for me, I'm trying to get cake Level up, filling hundreds up all in my big safe I set it up, I say it again, I'm trying to wet him up Thinking with his dick, I'm getting a pretty bitch to set him up It's better them than better us, it's never them, forever us so And every M I ever touched, I multiplied it, doubled up I know life man, should I divide to see my brother up? Some got in they feelings deep inside, but never bring it up. And all I did was fuck shit up. I told niggas that these hoes ain't got no love for us. I told niggas that these raps don't really fuck with us. The waves all they want from us, like it's made for only one of us. I'm straight on all that other stuff for real. I know hanging deep off in the trench will get me killed. But I get a rush from me, love the way it feel. Hang around the vultures, knowing this rich cost a mill. Hold up, let me take the wheel. Say it paid the cost to be the boss, so I expect to pay the bill. Should I expect to do some fails, but I
talk some more motivation for all of y'all. Label calling on the line, and I know what they calling for. They calling about the millions, about them losses, them wins. I can show you how to make a buzz out your man. Turn your car to a Benz, but it'll cost you your friends. They be waiting on your downfall if you fall, that's the end. But if you win, they come around more and all make amends. I see it. Cross my heart, hope they die for it, niggas. I mean, what's up, you guys? So. I finished my birthday vlog. Um, I got that done. My birthday vlog, have it up and posted. I started my travel vlog. I did, I started like the beginning, the intro part. I have like a little bit more to go, well, a lot more to go. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna finish that within these next few days. I just dropped this vlog, so I'm giving myself time. Um, but yeah, that vlog will be up early next week, thank God, and then I can start on this one. But yeah, I got up, I did some skincare, I have my eye patches on because I was noticing I had some wrinkles right here. So I just put my eye patches on, I'm about to take them off um, and start my meal prep. As you can see, I made me some detox tea, this is Smooth Move. I've been drinking detox tea since I got back from Dubai. I'm trying to get it, make it into my habit to detox at least two to three times a week. Um, that's very important because, you know, I tell you guys, like, gut health is everything. So I'm just drinking this tea because, I'm not going to lie, I had a little tiny bit of Wizard Curly's Chinese food. This is why I am, like, trying to push him to do this fasting and lifestyle change with me because it is so hard when you have temptation right in front of you it's 5 39 right now it's almost six o'clock so what i am gonna do instead of going back in bed and finish editing i'm just gonna do my meal prep real quick it's gonna be very 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 fast because the only thing i really have to cook is the chicken breast this is them it's chicken sh the shawarma chicken thighs i'm gonna throw this on a pan the rice is gonna go in the microwave the broccoli goes in the microwave as well so the only thing i'm really about to do is just make the chicken real quick everything else goes in the microwave that's why i'm telling people y'all be trying to make it seem like meal prepping is so hard it's really not as hard as you think this is probably going to take me no more than 10 20 minutes to make like the chicken is going to be the longest thing everything else takes three minutes in the microwave hopefully i'm just not hopefully i'm going to go in the room and take this wig off and put on my closure wig i'm going to just straighten it and put it on because this wig has to go i really want to wash this one and my other wig that i wore just to have them ready yeah y'all this wig y'all that glue the wig addiction glue is the truth this wig lasted me all throughout dubai but it's just like too much build up i feel like it no matter how much i try to put alcohol and ebon spray it's over like it just needs to come off it needs a fresh reinstall which i'll probably do next week i'm gonna probably turn it into a side part or what should i do maybe i'll do like nah i think i'm gonna do a side part with like some curls or something i don't know we'll see but yeah i'm about to just meal prep real quick and i'm gonna come back and show y'all and give y'all my review of the chicken all right y'all so we got the chicken cooking broccoli i already put it in the microwave i put it in for three minutes and then the brown rice is done as well i put it in for three minutes so i'm just waiting for the chicken to be done so i can put everything together i have my fruits here i'm gonna put a mix of grapes pineapples and watermelon in a ziploc bag and yeah i'm gonna come back and show y'all once everything is done what's up y'all so i finished my meal prep i put everything here i just finished my tiktok as well i had to put my hair back because it was getting real in this kitchen but um i did try a piece Oh, I did try a piece of the chicken without y'all. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure it was cooked. Chicken is good. A little salty, just a little bit. So I would say if you are going to eat it, make sure you're drinking lots of water. I looked at the packaging and it said it only had 440 milligrams of sodium per serving and 20 grams of protein, which I feel like is very good given that my yogurt and my breakfast alone together has like 40 grams of protein. So that's easily 60 grams. I forgot to add my protein shade. We're almost at 100 grams of protein, okay? And that's great. I like. I know a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say when I posted my meal prep video on TikTok. I want you guys to know I do not even eat all of the these things that I bring to work. I literally only eat half because I started like fasting. I get full so quickly, especially when I start my day with the fruits and the kombucha. It holds me over for a minute. So the protein shake is what I make sure I try to drink the whole thing of at least. But as far as the food and the, the breakfast, sometimes even the yogurt, I cannot finish. I just be so full and not really full, but like now I don't eat to feel full. I eat to feel just satisfied, you know? So yeah, that's that. I'm about to just put everything away, clean up this kitchen. It is 6.38. I want to 
I want to get started on my wig. I want to take this off and I just want to be in bed before 8 o'clock, honestly. So, yeah, I'm going to just go get started on my wig. Probably go live for a little bit and then, yeah, and I need to charge my phone because it's dying. So, BRB, y'all. literally um about to do like a little montage like a little get ready with me you guys so like i was gonna you know i was doing my laundry blah blah after you guys saw that clip of me putting my laundry in my camera lens my camera fell my lens broke because it said it had some type of like obstruction the camera would not turn on it was i'm like oh my god i gotta buy a new camera now or i gotta buy a new lens like i just did not know what i was gonna do i was so over it so um I ended up calling my man and he got me a new lens, y'all. He got me a new lens immediately so I can actually continue to vlog. But unfortunately, I already done with the Trader Joe's and Target and did everything that I needed to do today as far as like on that end. Um, so I'm sad because I really wanted to take y'all with me, especially to Target. But you know what? It's cool. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the lens, y'all. If you have a camera and you are vlogging, be very careful with your lens because now like the way the lens is, it broke. Like it fell right on itself while the lens was open. So now like it won't move it won't turn it's obstructed like something's wrong with it But my man got me a new lens. This is why I say if you are with somebody who does not make your life easier If your man does not even attempt to solve the problems that you are having you have to get a new one I really wanted to show you guys things that I got from Target I already put everything away But the only thing that I did get that's new is this pan oxal face wash Um, they've been saying it's very good. I may use that just like at night because I love my La Roche Posay I love it, but it's a very like kind of strong face wash especially if you have acne prone and oily skin so that's the only thing different that i got from target i did go to trader joe's and i got some stuff to cook today today i'm gonna be make i'm gonna be meal prepping because i'm about to do my three in a row so i'm gonna be making some salmon uh mac and cheese with broccoli that'll be for dinner and my meal prep will be chicken brown rice and broccoli i already know like my meal preps are very simple i do not overcomplicate my meals ever you can never go wrong with chicken rice and a vegetable like that's that's what i'm gonna eat till the death of me um uh, sometimes i like to throw in some salmon in there like i don't mind it but i'm just more so like the chicken especially when i'm eating rice i like the the gravy or whatever so i'm just gonna stick to that but yeah i got everything there um i'm gonna be cooking that later so you guys will be able to see that i'm also about to go install my wig my side part wig what time is it right now it's two o'clock so the side part wig that i have in there i'm going to be installing that um also meant to tell you guys the cleaners came on thursday i was actually did they come thursday or did they come friday i think they came friday i think yeah they came friday so the cleaners came friday while i was at work my man was home um they cleaned very 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 well so our apartment smells good it looks good it's so clean in here I'm supposed to go to brunch with um like a new friend or like potential friend but because of the weather and stuff we just decided to reschedule so maybe that'll be upcoming but yeah let me show you guys something so Y'all yeah, know I love me some Kyra, okay? I love Kyra. I recently got introduced to her vlogs once I started on YouTube, and uh, I'm heavily inspired by her content. I love the way she edits. I just love her aura. I love the, the, the luxurious life that she lives. Like, I love her. So when she recommended to order this True Amour um, fragrance from Zara, I don't know if y'all can see it said that this smells like just like the delina perfume i don't know if y'all remember but when i went to houston I actually smelt this perfume um in the galleria i didn't buy it because i had just bought like another perfume so i was just like you know what 
let me hold off on it but once she posted this you guys and it came on my for you page i ran and bought the 100 ml bottle because there are just certain people you can trust like the same way you guys trust me and my recommendations she is somebody that i trust with her recommendations especially when it comes to scents so i remember how that delina smelled because um the line out i don't know how to pronounce it yeah i know i'm bad with words but i remember they put it on and i smelled it to the next day and i really meant to go buy it i just never got around to it so oh yeah it smells Mm, you guys it smells very good i need to get into the zara fragrance y'all this smells very good i don't remember exactly what the delina want delina whatever smells like but this smells very good i also ordered two more because i saw these two on i saw this the gardenia fragrance and pink flambe flambe i saw these on twitter somebody on twitter was talking about it and i know it's so risky ordering fragrances um without smelling them but anyway i didn't even read y'all the notes of the true more so it's floral grapefruit rose and vetiver yeah yeah that smells very good i actually really like that one so this one this one kind of smells like ysl black opium the gardenia this one you guys this one smells like black opium that one smells good i don't know which fragrance i have that smells like it it kind of I don't know. It smells like a softer version of Burberry Her. I'm like really bad with describing scents, but this is, I like these. I like these. I'm never, I'm not really a Zara girl because I feel like, especially with their clothing, if you are not like under 150 pounds, I really do not see anything in Zara. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I just want to, um, See like how long it lasts so i'm probably gonna go put on my pajamas and spray the true amore and see if i still smell it in the morning i'm so <laughs> i'm in such a good mood i just want to go through my hair real quick because i look fucking crazy and then i'm gonna come back and talk to y'all a little later so three hours later hey guys so while i was doing my wig i was watching love is blind and i was like listen i'm no dating expert you get what i'm saying i'm no sprinkle sprinkle I, i'm none of that but I have had my fair share, you know what I'm saying? I had to go through a lot to get where I am today, like mentally, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, just like they say, like, you have to go through a few frogs before you get your prince. And I feel like I've had my fair share, y'all. But while I'm watching it, I was just like, yo, these girls need therapy. Like, or they just need a little bit of guidance. Like, for example, one of the girls, I think her name is Johnny. She's literally in there telling everybody about her past relationship. Like, I don't have the best track record. Um, I've oh, you know, for, rule 101. Do not tell a man what you've been through. I keep telling y'all this, but I normally say it on my TikTok live, so I think now it just needs to be stamped in a video. Stop telling men what you've been through. Stop telling men what you've been through. Stop telling men what you've been through. You are dating and you're out there. You do not tell somebody that, yeah, my man never did this for me. I never did this. All I did was get cheated on, beat it on, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? So now this, you're not only telling this man how much you can take, one. Two, you're letting him know that he can just do a little better than your ex and you will be satisfied. So most of the time, I'm not saying all men, but most of the time, they will use that against you. And they will use it as a weapon at your weakest point. Let's say, you, for example, you guys are arguing and you guys are going back and forth. He can easily just be like, mm -hmm, and now I see why your ex treated you that way. I just feel like for all my women, like if you're watching Love is Blind, Please share your thoughts down below, but I just think that's rule 101 when dating. Like, you do not tell men what you've been through. And number two, another one, like, I think her name is, um, it's a nurse on there. She's an ICU nurse. I think her name is Aaliyah. She's dating this guy called Uche. And the guy had asked her, like, basically just asked her, like, have you ever cheated in any of your past relationships? And she says yes. Just watching this, like, yo. <laughs> like, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Let's start cooking because it is... 5 14 and i really want to be out this kitchen by like seven so i have the water for the macaroni boiling we about to get this salmon and start on this chicken like we must do a million things at once so yeah let's do it love you Let a nigga know that he arrived. Don't be sleeping on your 
level Cause it's beauty in the struggle nigga. It's beauty in the struggle nigga. Beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me mama please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind Cause pain still lingers on mine on the road to riches, listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga, you came a long way The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way The green is better, life that's better than yours Gross, this thing is life that's better than yours Think being broke is better, life that's better than yours No thing, no stress For what's money without happiness? Or hard times without the people you love? Though I'm not sure what's about to happen next Straight from the Lord of the book Cause I've been strong so far But I can feel my grip loosening Quick, do something before you lose it for good Get it back in you What's up you guys? So, literally had the Not really the longest day Let me not drag it But I did get out of bed a little late Y'all, I realized like um this morning I was definitely like very lazy these not last few days I don't know if it was the weather I don't know if it's because I was not taking my vitamin D, but you guys, I had to push through today. I'm like, oh, look, for these last two days, I've been in bed, chilling, taking it a little easy, not really working out. So I was just like, you know what, today I'm going to get up and go do something. But um, my eyelashes was falling out or whatever on the right side more so um, because my lash tech has been using like a different glue, like a sensitive glue. And she's waiting for her regular glue to come in, like her much stronger one. So I had to go today to just go get a refill. She like filled me in for free. Love her so much for that. Cause she understands like, she normally don't see me this much. Like I go get my lashes done every two weeks, every two and a half weeks the most. But she's literally been seeing me every week since she started using this glue. So my last two refills have been free. But I'm also looking on Louis Vuitton right now at what I'm gonna get my mom. I really don't know. Me and my man are like, we're contemplating on what we're gonna get her. Um. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna see. But yeah, right now, I'm about to just take a shower. I'm about to try that Pan Oxo face wash. But it's 7.03, I just wanna go take a quick shower. I took a shower um, this morning, so I'm not doing that crazy. I just wanna wash my face and, you know, wash off this sweat and then probably go live. But I'ma see y'all. Off. They didn't mean me no good. I come from the ghetto, so my trunk is in my hood. She wouldn't wear no panties around me, even if she could. Gave out plenty spankings till they got it understood. Fuck the nosebleeds, baby, cunt on this wood. If you know it's tension, don't come around me like it's good. I got street smarts, and you can't get this out no bug. I can't right my wrongs, but I can still right these hooks. All oh, time to get exposed, gang. Bam from out here, nigga, come get off your show, savage. Say you pussy and he hit it on the nose. I did tell PT, I was like, you know, like, what's up, PT? Take me out to dinner. Um, but, like, if I had to do it all over again, I think I would change the way that we had that moment. You look like the kind of person I could lose myself in. Lose a part of yourself, but what you gain in return is worth what you lose along the way. And I know that we live in a generation that makes you feel like you have to hold on to yourself at any given cost. But I'm telling you, there is no way that you can be successful in relationship unless you are willing to lose a bit of yourself. Now, this is how we qualify that losing. We qualify that losing by making sure that I'm not giving up a piece of myself in exchange for something that is not worthy of what I'm giving up. Here, of losing themselves, the fear of the end of me. I know that this is going to be the end of me, and so I live with this fear. That's why I recognize that it is producing something down on the inside of me. I can't look for my way out or I'm going to miss me. You're going to miss, you're going to miss you for an opportunity to run out. You're waiting for a place to no longer feel safe. This is where we find Gideon in the text. That bullshit, on that bullshit, on that bullshit, out of bullshit. 
Maybe I should do a 20, maybe I should break that 20, do a 10 Maybe I should break that 10, do a 5, then if it gets live, do a 5 again If he held his tongue on that live, he be alive again, damn My uncle's sister know she raised a real one, ill one It's been 30 minutes, I don't feel none Oh shit, wait a minute, think I'm starting to feel some Where you get this motherfucking pill from? Heard they got some sanctions on my name Heard they plotting on my name Heard they banking on my name I got leader in this bitch I am blocked you just to tell you you a bitch ass nigga For real Please say your name and sell you out But I don't do no pre-promotion That song A hey. That's the song is called B A N by Nem Shell. I saw it on TikTok and I just was bumping it in the car after I listened to my gospel music. That's a song right there. That song. If you a woman who's on your shit and you left a bad situation, that song is gonna hit. Y'all, what's up? I just got to my Pilates class. I got like 30 minutes, so I'm about to take another walk over here while I wait. Because I'm like, well, I'm just going to sit in my car and scroll on my phone when I can be like reading and walking. But yeah, this morning I felt so good, you guys. This is like my morning routine. I'm waking up. Um, like I said, I always say my affirmations. I have an affirmation app on my phone. Let me show y'all what I use. So this is my, my apps that I use every morning. The I Am app and the Daily Prayer app. I say at least 10 to 20 affirmations. It, it like When you go on the app, you can pick like what like you know like you could just pick the type of affirmations you want and i um i say them every morning i do my daily prayer i just say a prayer pray to god get up um yeah so i was listening to my sermon while i was getting ready um sarah jakes is that girl for real but i was listening to her um i drank my tea this one i had some green tea so good i do not get on social media and until I, you know, pour into me and I don't even text nobody back. I don't return no phone calls, like nothing. I'm not pouring into nobody until I'm done pouring into myself. That has like literally changed my day. Like, yeah. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to catch up with y'all after. Hey, what can I offer you? Hi, can I have a bacon, gouda, and egg? Hey, yeah. How do you like the matcha? Is it good? Um, okay, so I'll do a, uh, actually, I'll be good. I'll just get a grande um ice green tea ice peach green tea lemonade thank you oh my god i have hiccups i'm acting like it's mad late it's really not that late but i'm trying to be home before two so i could get some work done but i'll be at the mall in like 15 minutes we're gonna get this gift go to tarjay maybe get some chipotle i don't know why i'm craving chipotle so good but yeah let's head to the mall and yeah, I'm gonna catch up with y'all later. A little something, something. Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's smell a few. I wanted to smell spell on you. All right, guys, so we're smelling fragrances. This is the one I smelled from my mom. It smells so, so, so good. Hey babe. Oh, but I'm smelling these fragrances. I found one that I think she'll really like. It's a um so I'm smelling like a few more just to see. Thank you. Oh, this one's good. Mm. I just smell spell on you, y'all. It smells so good. Damn, I don't know which one I okay, bye. I don't know which one I should get her. The only thing is that I have to cancel it. If this is taking too long, we might have to cancel it. Then we can Which one? Water, the drop what did you spray? I'm not telling you. I just wanted to see what you would think. <laughs> is it for you? No. My mom. They both smell so good. I don't know which for one. For mom? Yeah. Try this for mom. I'm not a fan of this one. Which one? Let's spell on you. Try this, I like this, a lot. this one. Okay, I think and I'm this gonna, is my favorite. I'll try this right one. Here. This one is which one? I have this one. That That's is my, my favorite. Top. But I don't think she would like it because it's too. What like, about a trap? I like a trap. I have that one too, but she likes subtle. I like that more powdery one. I don't the like powder? the spelling okay. one. Try this one. Oh. A lot of moms love this okay. for some reason. I don't know why. It's like an older, more mature. Okay. So this is trap. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. she wants because she's gonna change it. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna change the too. I think, that, I think okay. that's the one. But I don't have to change that's that's the one. No play. Yeah, right. I think I'm gonna get that. Is this yours? That's mine. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not on, is it? It is. It is. No, you can't record in here. Oh, okay. It's, I you're not allowed it. to. No, oh, you're okay, not allowed okay. to record in here. Okay. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You no can problem. take photos, but no. What's up, y'all? So I'm home. Um, as y'all heard in the store, I wasn't able to record, unfortunately, but it was whatever because I definitely like I'm not the type to go into stores and just start vlogging because I know like most luxury stores they will not let you record but I had asked the essay that was helping me his name was Zeno so nice so cool if you're ever um in the American Dream Mall go to Zeno he is so 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 nice so cool but um yeah he had told me he's like girl yes please record like who cares and mind you it was nobody in the store so I was recording it and I guess that's when the manager seen and was like oh you can't record da, da, da anyway and i feel like she tried to be a little funny about it because she was like yeah most luxury stores don't let you i was like yeah i was just in dubai shopping and they they didn't say nothing <laughs> anyway <laughs> i'm home i got my mom's birthday gift but i don't want to the way he i don't know the way the tissue paper and everything is i really do not want to go into it but i got her some stuff you guys will probably see that on saturday for the um you guys will probably see that on saturday when i go to the events y'all see her unboxing i got her a card as well but um on the way out y'all on the way out i just could not help myself my, my battery on my camera was dying anyway but i did walk past the parfums de marley fragrance this is it and i fell in love y'all I, I feel like i had the zara dupe on and i was just like it's hard for me to get the actual one like i feel like it smells so 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 good and i got it sprayed on me while i was in um while i was in houston and i loved it so i was like you know what let me get it but i smelled the intense one this is the bottle the intense one is so much better than the regular i feel like it just i don't know it's just much better so i got the intense mm, it smells so good y'all i'm gonna add this to my perfume Thing. you guys will be getting a perfume collection video very soon i know y'all waiting that's something for me i suck at shopping for other people i guess you tell i literally went in there for a gift and then thing. but i don't know if y'all know this about me louis vuitton is really my favorite luxury store brand like i love louis vuitton i love it i love it i love it i have stuff from them from like i started buying louis vuitton in when i graduated so 2020 and all my my alma bag that i had on today i got it in 2020 i got most of my like bags from them they do not tarnish knock on wood but i feel like they're in very good condition it also could be like my upkeep because i keep my stuff in dust bags or i keep them on the shelf and they're all perfect like i love my little bit stuff but i did get some stuff for me and he also threw in a lot of samples uh, but i did get me some more wrist candy because y'all so for my birthday my man had got me the uh van cleef set and i would not recommend y'all use that as an everyday jewelry that's just my opinion because while we was out there i was wild and i was in the pool with it we're doing this and that with it and it started i saw like a little crack so when i started doing looking at reviews on tiktok they did say that that's not the type of thing that you want to shower with go in the pool with and just wear every day because it's very easy for it to crack it's very easy for it to like break you just want to be very 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 careful date nights girls night out with my friends brunch that is the only time i'm gonna wear it other than that you can see me in my little pandora on the daily okay and y'all know another thing he did get me for my birthday was the louis vuitton canvas bracelet because i'm like really obsessed with bracelets right now i don't know why so i got this for me this is one of the things i got for myself it is a louis bracelet let me see can y'all see it it has some pearls on it it's so 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 pretty y'all it has some pearls on it and it goes perfectly like if i wanted to just stack them like if i wanted to put my canvas with something with this one perfect so i got me this and yeah i got my fragrance for me and i got my mom her gift and i'm good like i'm not shopping again you guys will not see me shopping you will see no orange bags or anything until probably christmas like it's not that target on the way home i didn't get nothing too crazy but i did get me some uh tortilla chips because i bought the spinach artichoke dip from trader joe's so i wanted to get that with the cheese as well because i'm not gonna eat all of that um all the chips on the dip so the cheese they're only two for eight we're having a little movie night tonight you know what i mean my man he was wanted me to get regular popcorn but i'm like listen we're gonna do it the healthy way this is some good ass popcorn so we're gonna eat this one tonight uh he's gonna be mad as hell that it's not extra buttery and salty but it's good popcorn i got some carb balanced tortillas because i was gonna make the burrito tacos 
tonight for him. I don't really want it because I got some Chipotle on the way home. I got some tacos. Um, what else did I get? I got hair clips because I needed another clip. I got my mom's card, which I'm going to write in and make sure that it's ready. Because I got to work Saturday. So I just want to be able to grab my stuff and go. I'm going to get dressed at Melody's house. And then I also got some f plastic forts and um, spoons. Because who the hell is going to be doing dishes? All right. Good. But yeah, that's it. That's all my stuff. I'm going to go put all my stuff away. And I'm just going to chill for right now. Okay. right now i'm about to go lay down and close out this vlog right here because i mean it's gonna be home in a few hours but i know i'm not gonna be wanting to vlog at that time but yeah um, i'm about to go lay down probably read some more probably get started on this vlog even i don't know because it's still early it's only like 6 30 right now i'm really excited for these next few days i'm going to salad core these next two days and then my mom's birthday is on saturday and it's a surprise so i'm gonna start a new vlog probably once i get um once I get, yeah, I'm probably going to start a new vlog once we start. Probably either for solid core. I don't know, but I'm going to start a new vlog uh, at that time. But anyway, that is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Okay?